Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you wanna use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there! I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. You guys, I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? What the heck? At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job.
Did a little pick me up? <coughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Nineteen sixty eight, nineteen seventy four. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. It's already rewound. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue. Come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs.
Is that a W390B frivolous? What is it? Are you guys brothers? At the IRS, we're all brothers. I'll just be moseying along. Keep your nose clean, kid. How do you suppose the Dodgers are doing? Well, their win-loss ratio is... Let's see, it's 101 99957. Ted is red. See red Ted. Stop!
thought I heard something. Everything okay in there? Well, try and keep it down, okay? make that mistake again. <laughs> Oof! Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? There's some kind of rodent down there. Thank you. 
cute! It's bad to put metal in a microwave. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. I've already thawed him out. Besides, he won't let me insert the meat thermometer. This ought to warm him up. I don't think I can put that in the chronogon. good prizes to be won. Why, the grand prize is a dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I can regale you with tales of my adventures. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If you have a human you want to enter, you'd better get it down here. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Keep in touch! Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! 
That was one good looking tentacle. Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. I've got to get power to my chronogen. Oh, well. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? Ready to go now. Chattering, mummy. The judges will think you're chewing gum. And that sound is giving me an headache. Oh, this will never work. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick! Now how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. <laughs> Oh, 
What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laughing? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. Ha, ha, ha. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smug? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... Blast, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could 
you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby. Yeah. <laughs>